Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video to the channel. So it's been a little while since we've done one of these and going through market watch it was quite apparent that the prices of frames have been starting to shift again. Now leading up to a bonus XP frames can be one of the best ways to like make GP in preparation for a double XP. It's just huge huge profit and very good construction XP as well. The fact you can make profit doing construction and with the XP rates you can get doing frames it's really really good. I just think it'd be worth going through some of the more used frames. I think like some of the lesser used frames are even better GP because they're very like low volume and niche. But we'll go through some of the main hitters. So we'll do Elder, Magic U, Mahogany and Acadia. We'll do those those frames in this video just to look at profit and see what's working and if it's worthwhile making frames now. Preparing for a double XP or just making it for profit now because it can still be profit without it being a double XP or leading up to a double XP as well as people will be looking to bank their construction. It just surely depends on how the price of refined planks and planks are to whether it's decent profit. So I'm going to withdraw all of these items out of my bank and uh, let's get cracking. If you are brand new to the channel and brand new to all these money making videos, I do have a playlist for it, which is on my community tab. If you are brand new to the channel though, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really, really does help me out to be seen by more people and really does help the channel to grow. So thank you to everyone who has and thank you all for liking the videos and dropping the comments. Any suggestions of videos or content you want to see, make sure to drop in the comments down below. And I'll always do my best to do the kind of content you guys are looking for from the channel. So we're going to start with uh, Acadia. Um, so what we're going to be doing is checking three different points. So we're going to check the plank price the refined plank price and also the frame price because again we've gone over this with um, frames before sometimes it's not the actual making the frame which is going to make you money sometimes you're better off just to make refined planks um, and you're going to be making better GP just by turning on that than actually doing the whole process of making the frames now we've talked about it before with some of the other sort of frames which we're not going to pay attention to low volume affects these things an awful lot which is why at some point I'm pretty sure we'll go down and like just check what the grand exchange prices are by going to make some of our own. So the refined Acadia planks haven't been made. So we'll go and make some and then sell them later on. But an Acadia frame is going to come in at a price of, again, 76k for a, like a med price is pretty good. 72, very good for Acadia. Like if you think that to make a frame, you're going to need 12 planks. 3.9k is very good profit from like, I'm pretty sure making a log into a plank. So that can also be a money making method as well. But you're going to be making a KDA frame from start to finish for roughly about 48k each. You're going to be making 24k per frame if you're going to do that method. But we'll go and make a refined plank a little later on and we'll go and test it from there. So the next one is mahogany. So if we go and check a mahogany plank, and mahogany is the one which kind of goes under the radar a lot because there's so many more mahogany planks in circulation in the game. Mahogany is the one where you could probably make the most money and when I did, I can't remember what account or what series we did last time, but Mahogany frames were probably the best one we did. Um, so the good thing is, is that because Mahogany is much more readily available, you can actually buy the refined um, frames and actually for a decent price by the look of it as well. So if we go to the frames, that's going to come in its price of 58k, 55. So that one is a little bit under mid. And as you can see here, you can actually buy the frames for 17k each. So for 51k, you can turn that into 55. Again, nah, not really worth it. But if you got it on a slow buy, you could also turn into 36k into 55, which is a lot more, lot better. Or you can turn four of these, which is going to set you back a price of 5.2k into the refined mahogany planks, which might be a better choice. And again, that's a great method if you've got a low amount of GP. Just turning some mahogany planks into refined planks is a very good way for you to make some some profit. But if you're going to do that, I'd probably just say continue towards the frame. So the next one is U. Again, U planks were very, very cheap for a long period of time. So yeah, they've gone up in price. Now this again, this might just be low volume. So we'll just test the price. 5K, 5K for a U plank. That is, yeah, there's definitely money like here. It's just whether it's what you want to do or not. And again, um, turning them into planks, there's two methods. You can use a portable sawmill but you are going to have to pay for GP to turn them into a plank, but you can pretty much do them instantly. So if you want a high volume of planks per hour, that is definitely the way to go, but you are going to take a substantial chunk of your margin out. Or you can use a sawmill and do them yourself in your fort workshop. Get some XP, but also some decent price from it as well. U-logs are currently 600 GP, so you're going to make 4.4k per U-log there. 
Me personally, I'd be looking at using the portable uh, for that because you've got a massive margin. Um, so speed might be your friend. But again, see what works for you and see what you want to do. So in terms of the refined plank, let's see what that's going to come in at. That's going to come in at 18k. So even with the price of like you planks at just under 5k each, you can still make money turn them into refined planks, which is a bit of a thing. And then finally, the U frame, which is going to be 58k, which... In my opinion, is quite cheap. Like a U frame being that much cheaper than Acadia, and then again, like if you're looking to stock up on like for a double XP, my opinion is that U frame is the best price one out of the lot. And that's what I'd probably be looking to buy and invest in. Um, and to be fair, I might throw in a cheeky little offer actually for that. We've got a little bit of GP at the minute, so we'll just we'll just have a little buy. Yeah, but compared to Acadia, very cheap. Yeah, the one thing I would say about Acadia as well, which gives it sort of its solid foundation and prices, is um, it's used in a lot of the upgrades for the fort, which is probably why it's so expensive. Right, so next one, Magic. So Magic is going to be a 2.3k. So again, I just think the U plank's inflated. Um, for that so again you can make some serious profit turn of the yeah you can actually make some serious profit so this is a good one to start with 2.3k for a magic plank very cheap so let's say 10k for that 15k profit turning those into magic refined planks and then a magic frame is going to come in at a price of 85k so even if you actually buy the magic refined planks at 25k each He's still going to pull 10k profit, turn them into a frame. But I think for the sheer cheapness of like your outlay there, definitely worth looking at turning magic planks into refined, refined planks. And then finally, for the last one of the video, we're actually kind of flying through quite quick with these. An elder plank. Now, a great way to make some GP is actually to put these into plank makers. Um, I think an older log at the minute is 12k, so like that can definitely be some nice profit. So for a plank, yeah, there's some margin there. There's some margin there. Um, refined elders. And elders can be the ones where you could just make some stupid profit if the prices are right and if you can get the stock bought. So a refined plank is going to be 83k, which means an elder is going to be somewhere in the region of 240k. Okay, that's not too bad. If this is over mid, 260, yeah. So even if you did buy your um, planks, you're going to be like 249, you're going to make 11k each. In my opinion, yeah, stay clear. You're actually making quite a big chunk turning the planks into elder planks. You need four planks to make a refined plank. So you're going to be about 60k. 60k to 83k, pretty good. And that's what I'm saying. Like through here, there are definitely like some other methods to do. So, like for me, out of the elders, it's better to make into refined planks. For magic, magic is good all the way throughout, but again, for the low cost of how much the magic plank's going to cost you, definitely look at doing that. Um, use use might actually be better to actually make the plank itself, whether that's via the um, portable sawmill or the actual sawmill in the 4 frame free thing. But again, you can make profit turning those into frames, but probably like slow buy those again. If you can slow buy all the items, that's the absolute best way because you're just trimming costs and the more costs you can trim the more profit you're going to make um mahogany frames again very low cost for the planks so i'd probably turn planks into refined planks and get them sold again 17k you're gonna spend 6k to do it really good there and acadia um i don't know what the refined plank is i'll go and do it now actually just because if i've got it in my um plank box yes we do have enough so we'll go and do that now just to test the price because Acadia's, like I said before, are a funny one. Because they needed so much in the upgrades of the fort, it might be a chance that because there's no volume there, you can get a crazy sell. So we'll just test that. But again, as you can see, frames, there are some stuff which are under mid, like the frames themselves are under mid. But it won't take you long to find a method with frames which are going to bring you some serious, serious profit. And I think people as well, as well as me, sort of do underestimate like the profit of turning logs into planks. The U ones themselves, like this is just literally what you do. You take us some logs, you go here and you do this. No, not that. Um, you take this and you click the U plank and you just sit here and do that. So again, you're going to get some construction XP for it and it's not going to be the best. And it, you only really get the best XP when you're making the actual frame. But again, that's um, a simple way for you to make some GP without a lot of cash. Like you're turning a 600 GP log into 5k. Every invo, you're pretty much going to be looking at something like 100k profit. And it don't take many of those invos to build up enough cash stack to then start investing into the other stuff and then moving from there. So let's go back to the Grand Exchange. It's still a Acadia frame. But once this is sold, that's going to be in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
I do like doing these videos and I love like when we can just sit at the Grand Exchange and just like talk through different methods and stuff like that because I think it's uh, really cool just to give you guys like an insight and stuff. That sold for 16k and that was surely because of low volume. There was no, none on the Grand Exchange. We put an offer in way higher than that. It didn't sell and it's just because there's no other items there which can be the dangerous side of actually doing this. But even though we started from Acadia up, don't think that the others don't make money. It's just that they're not really bought often. So I don't think they're actually made off them. But if you're looking to do it, if you've got a, like a low level account, give them a try and see what you think as well, because you can definitely like squeeze some extra GP just by doing those lower methods. But if you have enjoyed the video, please make sure to give me a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you guys for watching this again, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.